Ann here. I hope you're all doing well. I'm excited to share the ink swatches with you today. Um, what inspired me actually was the trio of the Robert Oster inks that I got from the Best Sellers ink sample set from Goulet Pens. And it's uh, the Robert Oster, Sydney Lavender, Summer Storm, and Thunderstorm. And then as I was looking through my other inks, I had Sailor Ink Studio in 123, 224, and 252. And then um, I have a pilot, Iroshizuku Fu Fuyu Siogun, that was part of their Goulet Pens bestsellers ink sample set as well. And then the Noodlers Lexington Gray, I purchased individually, I believe. And that is the only ink sample that I have here that I eventually purchased a, a small bottle of. And I originally bought that bottle because I wanted to find kind of like a perfect ink for my vanishing point and extra fine. Um, I, I purchased a bottle because, you know, I'd done a lot of research and I saw that the Noodlers Lexington Gray was waterproof um, and I wanted an ink that wasn't black and I also just happen to love gray inks. Um, you're seeing me do swatches on Tomoe River paper, and this is in my Hobonichi notebook. It's the same size as the Hobonichi Cousin. And um, I'll provide a link either on screen or in the description box below of the other ink swatches that I've done previously in this notebook. I'm really excited that once, you know, I can finish once I can fill this notebook with all the ink swatches that I can do a flip through and just share with you all the various inks that I've swatched. Um, so I've already swatched the Sailor Ink Studio in 123. I would say that's probably my lightest lavender gray ink today. And you can see that it's got tinges of pinks and blues as well and it shades beautifully. And then the second ink that you see that I'm swatching is the Sailor Ink Studio in 224. And just from the screen, it leans more cool toned than the Sailor Ink Studio 123. And it's just a beautiful, oh, lilac would be another color. Um, I was thinking it can't be purple gray and it's not lavender gray. I mean, it is lavender gray, but lilac gray would also be like a perfectly fitting name. This is ink number three, Sailor Ink Studio in 252. And now this one definitely leans more pink. Um, I almost didn't add this ink as part of the lavender gray collection, but um, the reason why it stays is because when I write, you know, when I write with the glass dip pen, the ink definitely leans darker, it's more gray. But as you can tell, when I make the swatches with the stainless steel cup, uh, it really it really accentuates the lighter tones. And so, um, so if you look more closely at just like the, the writing sample itself, you can definitely see more of the gray, but just seeing it dry right now, it, it leans more pink. Um, and maybe you can't, see, you may not notice it as much in the video, but definitely when I was writing it, or in person as I was doing the swatches, it definitely looked a lot more pink than it does on camera. So here's ink number four, Pilot Iroshizuku, and this is in Fuyu Siogun. I just had to put this ink in here. It doesn't seem obviously lavender gray, but to me, you know, as I was swatching other grays, um, you could see like just little hints of purple in here. And um, I really love Pilot inks a lot. Now I have the Noodlers Lexington Gray. You'll see the swatch here. Um, after I had been swatching all the Sailor inks and then the Pilot ink, when I swatched, when I had finished that swirl, I had, it totally looks black to me. And so I had to kind of adjust my eyes a little bit because I'm like, okay, this is a gray. This, this ink 
it's a wet flow on my glass dip pen. Um, a very generous flow, I would have to say. Yeah, so Noodler's Lexington Gray. It's not lavender at all, but I just thought it would be a helpful comparison, like side-by-side -side comparison for you to see just how lilac-y, how lilac-y, lavender-y um, the other inks are in comparison to the Lexington Gray. Okay, now I am getting started with the Robert Oster inks. And this first one that I am swatching is the Sydney Lavender. And this one is just beautiful. Um, it's definitely purple. I mean, it's just one of the darker lavender grays that I have here. And I think it's because of this this particular name, Sydney Lavender, that I decided to kind of call this collection the Lavender Grays. It writes beautifully. Um, it shades well. Now we have Robert Oster's Summer Storm. So when I lifted the cup, it, it seems more obvious on camera, but in person, as I was writing it out, as I was turning the corner, I just finished writing the T in Robert. I was turning the, I was rounding, not turning the corner, but I was rounding the corner and I thought, is this, is this Sydney Lavender? Did I accidentally get a sample from the Sydney Lavender? Cause it seems really, really similar. So hence the question mark. So it really, like in, in person, it really thought, it really looked like they were almost identical. But on camera, I could see that the Summer Storm leans a little bit more blue than the Sydney Lavender. I confirmed that I got ink from Summer Storm. And so here is my second swatch. And I'm emphasizing that yes, indeed, this is Summer Storm. And yes, it is very similar in color to Sydney Lavender. But on camera, really, you can tell that it does lean a little bit more blue and it is not as dark as Sydney Lavender. And finally, we have Robert Oster Thunderstorm. This definitely isn't a lavender gray, but I had to put it in here just because of Summer Storm, Sydney Lavender, it was like the, the perfect trio, so I couldn't leave Thunderstorm out. I guess you can consider it like a blue violet black. Um, it's just beautiful. I couldn't I couldn't leave Thunderstorm out without without including its uh, its partner Summer Storm. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful ink. I was really excited to do all these swatches side by side because I also wanted to see for myself um, what colors I might be interested in purchasing a bottle of. I had a hard time deciding which inks were my favorites and so I grabbed um, my dip pen from my calligraphy box and then I started uh, testing out each ink again using the dip pen. It was hard to tell actually, just because with each ink, the samples came out really dark. And so I couldn't really see the slight changes um, in color. You know, as I'm looking at the inks right now, what I know about myself is that I do prefer the darker inks. My eyes aren't really gravitating as lovely as the Sailor Ink Studios are. They're, they're light um, for, for my liking, I think. Um, I really prefer the Fuyu Siogun. I really enjoy the Sydney Lavender and Summer Storm, and perhaps Thunderstorm too, because um, I do like the blue, black, violet blacks as well. So if I were to pick favorites, um, I would probably say that on the left side, I love the Pilot Iroshizuku ink. If I were to pick one of the Sailor Ink Studios, I would probably gravitate towards 252. And as I look on the right, I already have a bottle of the Lexington Gray. 
you know, I really do like Summer Storm. I also like Sydney Lavender in that it's just a little bit more vibrant. And in the writing sample, it's actually hard to distinguish the difference between the two. So really it might just be like a coin toss. Um, but looking at it up close, it might be the summer storm. So there you have it. I would pick Fuyu Syogun and um, Robert Oster's Summer Storm. Final decision. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps me out on my channel. See you in my next video. Bye.